The technology in Blacklight was really an idea that came about from several different discussions about the future, the future of technology, the future of military technology. All of the tech and weapons in the game we based on real world stuff and we've just taken it a little bit further and added that sort of fantastic element to it. And one of the buzzwords that we're throwing around is like science fact. So it's not science fiction where it's like, you know, warp drive, rather something that's coming out of the Department of Defense. We knew that we would be able to reward players for good play and go to the depot and perhaps change the tide of battle. The Weapon Depot allows players to bring in massively heavy weapons. Not only the hard suit that a lot of people talk about, but airstrikes, railguns, miniguns, weapons that totally annihilate opponents. HRV stands for Hyper Reality Visor, and it's basically a mask that fits over your helmet. And unlike infrared vision or heat vision, it reaches out to all of these technological devices that are now around the world, like even your toaster, your microwave. Once it's activated, it only works for a limited amount of time, but through that you can basically get sort of like an x-ray vision of what's happening around you. We give the player a way to eliminate any camping, check and find where enemies are, check and find where weapon depots and pickups work. Most games have flashbangs or smoke grenades. We took that idea and we added our twist to it. So you're now throwing an EMP that actually blue screens the enemy player. We really want to take some of the systems that you know and love and you're used to and we want to reimagine in the Blacklight universe. We wanted to have mechs. We really, really wanted to have mechs in the game. We wanted to be able to, you know, run around and shoot each other, but we really felt like there needed to be something bigger. Something that was big and aggressive and scary looking, but it was still operated and moved around just like a character. So the hard suit was in the Imagine that there's this capture point and your team has just been losing, but as you've been playing, you've been accruing points and you think, oh, well, you know, we can turn the tide if we just get to an ammo depot and drop down a hard suit, somebody gets in it, and then he can walk in with all these heavy weapons blazing and everybody can kind of cower behind him and take the point. And it turned out that it works really awesome. Gameplay system checks and balances are huge to us. Uh, when we added the Weapon Depot, the big thing was how do we make this balanced? It first started off, we had it really cheap. Like, you could run around and kill a couple of guys, and then you could run and get a hard suit. And it turned out that we had a lot of hard suits, you know, running around the level, and it was kind of chaos. So we upped the price of it again, and we found that it was, you know, still really, really hard to kill. One of the ideas were that we would have a randomly spawning weak point that would be on the hard suit. And through the use of HRV, we can look at the hard suit and we can see a, a weak spot. If the weak point turns out that it's in the front, it's still a hard, hard fight. But if it turns out the weak point is on the back, you can coordinate with a teammate and he can kind of draw his fire while you kind of skirt around behind him and take him out from behind. My favorite Weapon Depot item definitely is the hard suit. You are this, this almost invincible powerhouse. My favorite weapon in Blacklight is currently the rocket launcher. The hard suit is kind of a given because it's overpowered, but I kind of like to be the upset to the hard suit. As you play through the game, the gameplay escalates, and near the end of the round, there are multiple hard suits and rocket launchers and flamethrowers all going at once, and it's just a massive pile of action. Players can come out of nowhere with massive weapons that previously just had a shotgun or a pistol. It allows the game to constantly be changing.